she sat staring at nothing from the back of the ambulance. Her hands stinging and wrapped with gauze. Her face was filthy, streaked with dirt and tears, hair still clinging to it from her earlier fit. In front of her stood Moore. She wasn't sure yet if this was good or bad. I remember this place. He began as he stared up at the derelict house, his hands on his hips. We searched every damn inch of it, top to bottom, front to back. He trailed off as though he were reliving the search itself. Not once. Not once did we consider that those poor girls were buried in the floors. He ran his hand over his face and looked at Frankie. The okay kid. She wasn't positive how to answer. She wasn't okay. She would survive. But she wasn't okay. I'm fine, thank you. It wasn't true, but it would have to settle. She stared down the street where a crowd had gathered a few moments earlier. It astounded her that whenever there was a tragedy, there were eyes eager to see it. Humanity was a loss in its entirety, she thought. Did she mean it? At this point, she couldn't tell. She turned her gaze to the trees in the distance and couldn't help but wonder how beautiful they must look at night. Night. Something she hadn't seen since she was a child. The skyline glowed a bright yellow now, and her concern began to rise like a knot lodging in her stomach. It would be dark soon. She needed to get home. Officer Moore? She began. He stared intently at the second floor window. His face a mask of dread and self-loathing. Call me Bert, he replied. His eyes stayed fixed where they were. I need to get home soon, she said quietly, turning her head upwards to try and see what had his attention. How many times? He began softly. How many times did I just walk right over him? Never in a million years would I have known. But you... You knew. He seemed almost frustrated with her. Was it her he grew angry with, or himself? Perhaps the question was best left for another time. You couldn't have known. She tried to console him, touching his arm. Yeah, he replied quietly as he choked back his emotion. So it was the damn parents after all. And now they're wasting away in an old folks nut hut. Couldn't arrest or prosecute if we tried. Fantastic. Those girls. They died that horribly. And they go without justice even now. He said as he stared up. Was there really any way at all to explain that the parents were indeed innocent? Would he believe her if she tried? Just then, a coroner's van backed into the lawn. She hadn't even noticed they arrived. She watched intently as two gentlemen entered the home with body bags draped over their arms like they were jackets. So casual were they that Frankie almost lost sight of what they were there to do. Pink and purple hues began to decorate the horizon now. It had been so long since she had seen the dusk. She'd forgotten just how beautiful it was. Especially this time of year. With all that she had missed in her life, there were times she couldn't help but wonder if she was being punished somehow for some dastardly act she was unaware of committing. Perhaps in a different life, if indeed there was such a thing. Christ, I can't believe this, Bert said as he worried his bald spot with his bare hand. Frankie almost wanted a comical squeak to erupt when he did it, but alas, damn nightmare is what it is. A goddamn nightmare, he finished. If only he knew, she thought, and she hoped it wasn't out loud. More faces appeared in the growing crowd. It was beginning to feel like a show. These poor little girls were becoming an attraction. It embarrassed and disgusted her at the same time. Moore seemed used to it. 
part of his job, she thought, but how could someone get used to something like that? All those people turning despair and hurt, tragedy and loss into entertainment. They gawked on as though it were fun. She wondered then if any of the older faces she saw knew the girls, if any of them even understood what was happening here. She couldn't imagine any human being would still be standing there watching like it was a television crime drama if they knew. She wanted to have more faith in the human race than that. It didn't take long for the coroners to emerge from the house, carrying the same body bags. A man at each end holding separate corners as normal procedure would indicate, and yet the bags looked as empty as when they went inside. It would have taken a skilled eye to be aware that there was anything inside them at all. Frankie cringed inwardly and looked away. And don't worry, Miss Walsh. Bert began as he finally freed his gaze from the window to match hers. We're going to get you home. He looked at her with a mixture of question and fear. There was something he wanted to ask her and she could see it. Almost as clearly as she could see his discomfort. How? He finally spit it out after staring at her for several moments. She merely raised an eyebrow to his query. How did you know where to look? He clarified. She matched his gaze with a blank expression and thought about how to answer. To hell with it, she thought. Just be outright honest. It was the darkest spot in the house. 